When I became Chancellor, we borrowed £1 in every four we spent. Next year, it will be £1 in every 14 that we spend. Last year, GDP grew by 2.2%. The OBR now forecasts it will grow by 2% this year, then 2 then 2.2% again in 2017, and then 2.1% in each of the three years after that. <laughs> this morning, unemployment fell again. Employment reached the highest level ever, and the data confirms that we have the lowest proportion of people claiming out-of-work benefits since November 1974. Borrowing continues to fall, but not by as much as before, to £55.5 billion next year, £38.8 billion the year after that, and £21.4 billion in 2018-19. The further steps in this budget to stop tax evasion, prevent tax avoidance and tackle imbalances in the system will raise £12 billion for our country over this Parliament. Corporation tax was 28% at the start of the last Parliament, and we reduced it so that it's 20% at the start of this one. Last summer, I set out a plan to cut it to 18% in the coming years. Today, I'm going further. By April 2020, it will fall to 17%. The headline rate of capital gains tax currently stands at 28%. Today, I'm cutting it to 20%. And I'm cutting the capital gains tax paid by basic rate taxpayers from 18% to just 10%. This is a budget that gets the investors investing, savers saving, businesses doing business, so that we build for working people a low-tax, enterprise Britain, secure at home, strong in the world. I commend to the House a budget that puts the next generation first. Yeah.